Hello and welcome back to our weekly vlog. We're going to start the vlog off. We're going on a little herping trip. Unfortunately, forestry work has completely destroyed all the refuges, but there's one little broken bit left. Let's see if there's anything we need. Fingers crossed. Yay! This is my slow one, so look. Okay, look at these. Two male grass snakes, one getting ready to slough or shed its skin. Have a look. Milky eyes getting ready to shed its skin. Another one, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Beautiful, beautiful animals. Now it's not smell of vision, mm. and wild grass snakes almost never bite you. They do give off an awfully smelly musk, and if it gets all over your clothes, oh, it's like a skunk being mm. nearby. Have a look at this beautiful guy's face. Look at that. British reptiles at their best. Absolute beauties. Anyway, we're gonna look at them some more and gently put them back exactly where they came from in their only bit of refugia left after all this. Look at this, this was prime habitat. But unfortunately winter works has destroyed some of the refugias. But there's plenty more habitat for them here in this forest for sure. get out don't forget if you're watching this in the future this is post the strongest bit of the lockdown for the coronavirus been allowed to get out and have a look around some local woods um, it's clouded over now we're hoping to see some common lizards uh, unless the sun comes back out well, it's trying it's trying but it's nice to see some wild grass snakes and some wild british reptiles because we absolutely love them now we're heading back to carry on refitting the reptile room as we have been doing for the last couple of weeks, but we're nearly there now. We'll give you a tour of that place soon. Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. Okay, you guys, we're gonna feed some of our little tiny snakes here. If we can catch anything actually feeding, we'll get some shots of them for you actually swallowing their food. Kind of weird how they do things, snakes. It is now Friday and we just got to Icarus and done the put tortoises in the bath and we saw some pheasants fighting on the driveway. I'll put those clips in now. Hi guys, we're at Icarus Valkyrie again. It's mine and George's turn on the rotor because we're still social distancing up here with the staff most of the time. So, usual thing really at the moment. Not flying too many birds. The girls are doing that, Emily and Joe, the ones just keeping a small team ready. Ready for when we're allowed to have our guests back on the experience days here at Icarus Falkery. That's what we do. Basically, you can come here and fly birds of prey wild and free for yourselves and see these magnificent birds in action and be inspired in, in, in awe of them really. Hopefully, at the same time, learn a little bit about them, have a little bit of appreciation about conservation and how some of these birds of prey certainly need your help or certainly need your awareness. But for now, it's all about cleaning up poo. So I'll get on with that. It's time to do some weeding. I'm hoping my phone isn't gonna fall. As I keep 
saying, as I keep saying, basically we're trying to keep this full concentric Icarus Fulcrum looking as good as we possibly can, even though times are strange and we've got none of you guys actually here with us. We don't want you to come back, hopefully in July, goodness me, let's hope so, at least by July. We don't want you to come back here and think, oh, that place is looking a bit scruffy. So we keep on top of it. Bit of gardening, bit of weeding, so it goes on. A lot of work goes into running any falconry centre that's nothing to do with birds of prey. Keeping the whole place going is a huge team effort and it's all encompassing. Just like having a garden or a property at home, it's no different. Everything needs doing, seemingly all at the same time, all of the time. Hopefully, you'll soon be here to enjoy. Lots to do.